uh, we're gonna take you on a good day on a busy Saturday for Cedar Point. You can see Magnum going as well. We're going in for early entry as well. Definitely uh, the benefits to uh, Lighthouse Point are everything that you need for a day here at Cedar Point. So this is the entrance under Magnum XL 200 and it's one of the four entrances that has the perks of using through the Lighthouse Point or Breakers Hotel to get into the park faster and easier, especially for early entry. After an amazing run on Magnum XL, I finally got to try the uh, the magic seat with Brandon. It was freaking amazing. It just launched me into heaven. Golden. Love it. I'm going to try Steel Vengeance next because that just opened up today. Vengeance in your ratings, does it beat Maverick? Mm, it's because a tough one. I think Steel Vengeance this year actually broke yeah. Maverick for me. Uh, Steel oh Vengeance God. ran it. We've been running it trimless for the last couple days and yeah. flawless. Flawless, oh, really good. Love it, Brian, top know. in the park? Uh, Steel Vengeance, yes, best in the park, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, I, it's gonna take the title. It, it rightfully should because that's that's exactly why they put it here. Something to compare to Magna, Maverick, and it's perfect. continues between Maverick and Steel Vengeance for the top of the park. We just got off a back row of Maverick, uh, right after a back row of Steel Vengeance, and I still can't decide. I don't know.
mighty Maverick. Part of the park is normally called like the high octane, you know, speed zone, extreme coaster gear, and there's poor Top Thrill Dragster just sitting, not operational. Not news to you guys, but Top Thrill Dragster is closed this year due to the accident last year and due to what most strata coasters have problems with reliability and timing. not have a bad day at Cedar Point. Oh. Even if you're on a damn rocking chair, it's... Uh, so... 
Valraven is the BMM dive machine, 220 feet. And I personally think Seagra and Griffin and Dr. Diabolicals is definitely gonna be better than this as well. The braking on it seems a little bit harsh. I'll show you. Bar and grill, definitely somewhere to eat at Cedar Point. It's freaking beautiful in here, not to mention they have awesome AC. solid wing coaster. I think I, I like it a lot better than Wild Eagle. Uh, I have a soft spot for Gatekeeper. Anything that's very photogenic, I really like. It is better than Wild Eagle. Yeah, we're not yeah. as good as Thunderhead. No, uh, Thunderbird, Thunderbird. Thunderbird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thunderbird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah right I back. do, yeah. We owe, uh, <laughs> yeah, we owe, uh, we owe that place a visit. So we're joined by two people, Felix and Ellie. They're here on their honeymoon Hi. from Germany. And, yeah. and then, you know, <laughs> That's how you do it. You spend your honeymoon at a theme park. That's beautiful. Congratulations, guys. Yeah, yeah, very much. Definitely. We're spending the day with them. The last two days have been a blast. Corkscrew, the Arrow Looper, one of the first rides that you see through the entrance in the park, as well as on the midway as well. Corkscrew happens to be one of the least favorite uh, rides in the park due to its age, manufacturer, and basically everything about it. However, I personally think it's a very, very fun ride with underrated airtime, but that's analyzing just a very old roller coaster. But Corkscrew is very scenic, and it's got a good placement on the midway.
So Gemini is an actual uh, an old arrow uh, steel eraser. And uh, whether it's smooth as butter, uh, it doesn't usually duel anymore. However, that last set of breaks, like you don't have any uh, clearance. As soon as you uh, clear the helix, you're you're smacking those breaks. And so be wary. But Gemini is a really fun ride. Steel Vengeance or Maverick? Who is the winner? I always thought Maverick was kind of like, I always voted for the bad guys, so I always loved Maverick. However, today is the day that Steel Vengeance. Just beats crashing it out. the vlog! <laughs> <laughs> Brian, Maverick or Steel Vengeance? I'm still going with Steel Vengeance, man. Yeah. I, it's, it's just the relentless airtime. I'm, I'm a huge sucker for that, so it's Steel Vengeance yeah. all the way. Yeah, I need one more ride to solidify that. But. <laughs> Yeah, uh, uh, Maverick's badass. I can see why these two like hold the duel for the park because they're amazing. Oh yeah, Maverick is a worthy contender though. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah, if anyone's gonna yeah, if anyone's gonna challenge uh, Chess Digger and Blackjack, it's gonna be Maverick. So we had just come off Steel Vengeance and our we lucky got honey. To ride twice. Our oh, lucky honey. Yeah. Also, congratulations, double to them. Okay. A beautiful ride for a beautiful couple. This was an amazing day at Cedar Point. I think we're all in food and drinks and relax. Now we celebrate. <laughs> Thank you.
I'm here about uh, midnight. I'm walking the Cedar Point Boardwalk uh, right before it closes. And we have beautiful views of the moon, the entrance, Gatekeeper, which is a very photogenic wind coaster, underrated in my opinion. Brandon is right over there walking the beach, doing his dad thing, his little dad escape. And we're just enjoying the rest of the night. I figured I'd like to show you guys stuff like this because nobody ever does and i'd like to take this time now that i'm a little inebriated to tell you thank you so much for all the support that you guys give us and i hope to be taking this on forever and bringing you guys on the journey that we all go on so thank you and good night <laughs> Woo!